Good Tuesday morning. As we come to the close of the book of Romans, I cannot help but think back over all the amazing truths that Paul has shared here. No wonder that he's issuing this warning to the believers to hold fast to the truth and to protect it at all cost. From past experience, Paul knew that others would come and they would use smooth talk and flowery speeches trying to cause division and confusion in the church. He was warning against false doctrine. This is anything contrary to the teaching that they had learned from Paul. He doesn't encourage them to try to persuade these individuals. He tells them have nothing to do with them. This is because deception is the most subtle form of trickery and it can in many cases, even if only slightly, alter your course in life. Turning from the truth, even a little, can completely change where you end up. Falling prey to deception will keep you from being free, keep you in the dark, it'll hold you there. However, Jesus said that it is the truth you know that will make you free. And shortly before that statement, he gave the key to the truth. If you abide in my words, then you are truly my disciples and you'll know the truth and it'll make you free. Staying in the word, seeking understanding, applying these truths, it will protect your heart from those who mean to deceive you. Our responsibility is to guard and protect the truth that we know. We need to keep the teachings we've learned from the apostle here in the book of Romans. This book is a wonderful exhortation of grace, freedom from the law, freedom from sin, and how to walk in the spirit. It's essential for the health of the believer. It's a starting point to understanding how Christ has made us free and rescued us from the power of sin and death. If this amazing truth can be stolen away from being rooted and established in our hearts, then we will not experience the freedom Christ has purchased for us. This is why Paul said, watch out, keep away from anything contrary to the truth that he wrote here. What a great reminder for us today to compare everything we hear and read with the Word of God. If we stay plugged into the truth, then we won't be easily fooled or deceived. Knowing these things will make us free to live for Jesus in a powerful and an effective way. Lord, thank you that your holy word brings light into my life. Keep me in the light and away from deception, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. See you tomorrow.